What's up, guys? We're going to talk about how to design an investment portfolio for your HSA. That's right. We've You've probably seen plenty of content, including from Modern Wealth, on why an HSA is one of the most powerful wealth accumulating tools there is, but how exactly do you invest it? We're going to break that all down today. You don't want to miss it. Welcome back, guys. If you like today's content, be sure to hit that like and subscribe button so you keep getting content just like this. And of course, if you need help with your own financial plan, reach out to us at www.modernwealth.com. That's modern spelled with no vowels, wealth.com. So if you've been following our content, our blogs, if you haven't subscribed to it, go to modernwealth.com and be sure to subscribe. Just click on our learning center. But if you've been following our content now, you probably know that we're huge fans of a health savings account. And the reason being is that a health savings account is one of the few accounts that can provide a triple tax benefit. You get a tax deduction for the money that goes in, it grows tax-free, and it comes out tax-free. And then on top of that, if you wait long enough, past 65, you now can use that money for non-medical expenses penalty-free. It's really, really cool. It's a really powerful way to build wealth and supplement uh, all the different investment buckets that you have within your portfolio. But I haven't seen a ton of content on how to actually invest those accounts. So we're going to break down on how you design the investment allocation for a health savings account. So first and foremost, a a disclosure, Um, we're breaking this down under the assumption that you got a decent time horizon in front of you for that health savings account. We're also assuming that you have a pretty good appetite for risk and that you're going to view this account uh, almost in the same way as you would your retirement account. So with that being said, generally speaking, how you want to invest that health savings account is generally pretty aggressive. You usually want to invest it almost exclusively in growth oriented assets like stocks. So that could be like a 80, 20 split, 80% stock, 20% bonds, or even a hundred percent all in pedal to the metal, a hundred percent in stocks. And the reason why you'd want to do that is that you want to focus on growing the absolute daylights out of that health savings account. Now, some of the initial pushback uh, that someone might give from hearing that type of investment allocation with the health savings account is, hey, you know, I have the health savings account and I put money into it, but I don't want it fully invested in stocks because I plan on using that money for health expenses that pop up. Shouldn't I have some cash on the sideline in that account? And if that's what you're thinking, that's exactly the point. What we generally advise folks to do is if you can, don't use the health savings account at all. If you have medical expenses, use other money. Use your money in your checking savings account, brokerage account. Use those dollars to fund medical expenses. Leave your health savings account alone. You're going to throw that thing in the oven and just let it cook for as long as as possible. And because you are going to let that thing cook in the oven for as long as possible, we can afford to be pretty aggressive with it. Again, it's the same philosophy as let's say your 401k plan, right? If you are in your thirties or forties and you have a 401k plan, you likely are being relatively aggressive with that account because you have the mentality of, I'm not going to touch this money for over a decade, maybe over 20 years. So I can afford to be aggressive and grow the daylights out of this thing. And that's exactly the same mentality that we generally would advise someone with their health savings account allocation. Again, pedal to the metal, be aggressive and try to grow it. But the unique thing about a health savings account is that unlike 
a retirement account, right? A retirement account. If you retire, let's say in your late fifties, then your 401k, your IRAs, right? Could very well come into the equation on funding your retirement at that time and providing cash flow. Your health savings account, on the other hand, we would like you to view this almost as if it's a long term care fund, right? That's usually the mentality that we have. If you're not familiar with what long term care is, and you've never known someone who's had to deal with this, basically, we find that the most amount of medical expenses that happen in your life generally happen in the last couple of years of life. And those long term care expenses oftentimes can amount to over six figures per year. And because most folks aren't getting long term care insurance, that health savings account can bridge that gap, can help fund and provide liquidity late in retirement when medical expenses pick up. And that's a big reason why we encourage you to be pedal to the metal and try to grow that health savings account as much as possible. Because the idea is, is that we want you to have this big tax-free piggy bank to fund those medical expenses later on in retirement. Bottom line is that is the reason for why we generally speaking advise that type of investment approach with a health savings account. Now, a couple other caveats to that is if you live in a state like, let's say, California, California taxes you on your health savings account earnings. So if you have a bunch of capital gains, dividends in your health savings account in a state like California, that is all taxable. So that needs to be factored in to how you design the investment allocation. You can still certainly be aggressive, but you need to think about, you know, the type of investments that you have in there, the dividend yields associated with them, et cetera, because it could potentially be taxable any place like California. And of course, again, everyone's risk tolerance is a little bit different. If you're not comfortable with the idea of being pedal to the metal aggressive, or uh, you like the idea of maybe having one year of -of out-of-pocket expenses in cash within your health savings account, again, there's nothing wrong with that. This episode is just merely intended to be a general guide on how to get it invested. Again, if you need help figuring out how to design a strategy for your health savings account and doing an overall review of your overall financial picture, reach out to us at www.modernwealth.com. That's modern spelled with no vowels, wealth.com. It's been a ton of fun, guys, and I'll see you next time.